I do like having the wand. It keeps me from picking at my hands. And I... So we should just have a wand for all the movies? <laughs> I guess so. Oh, so he's got PTSD and you're making fun of him. What a dickhead. What the fuck? Is that a Dementor? Yeah. yeah. Your cousin's about to die. Even though he's an asshole, you probably don't want him dead. Who are you? Nymphadora? Check out his! Looks like a trombone or something. Is this like Inception? I'm gonna start walking sideways. Shut up. I'm talking too much. I'm so annoying myself today. Am I annoying you as much as I'm annoying myself tonight? No, oh, you annoy me about the same all the time. Okay. That's not Dobby. I'm the one who fought him. I'm the one who saw Cedric Diggory get killed. <gasps> Jesus Christ! <laughs> what is he searching for? I don't know. What is he searching for? <laughs> Shit all over. Told you Malfoy's behind it all. Just because you're afraid doesn't Denial. mean he's not there. Keep your eye on the people that voted against him. No kidding. Ah! Yeah, that's not fucking creepy at all. She's a Malfoy. Look good. Luna. People call her Luna because she's... A little crazy. Oh no. Great. She's a spy for the ministry. Oh, I hate her. <laughs> oh, I hate her. She's doing a great job. Not fine. He's not fine. Sir, you need a hug. She's fun. Let's do standardized testing. It's so fun. <laughs> this is everybody's least favorite class now. Oh, she's like a traditional school system. Learn about things that you'll never use. Don't learn about things that you need to know. Don't worry, we won't teach you how to do your taxes, because that's not something you'll ever need to do. It's just like our bedroom. Oh, I hate you know, cats. cat plates. I don't hate cats. Don't. Don't come at me. I just am allergic to cats. Was it blood? What a bitch. Is this an approved part of the curriculum? You cunt. We're coming for you first, Delaney. I don't want any of that candy. <laughs> Let's avoid it. They've got something going on here. Two. They got like a little under the table connection happening. You don't think Hermione wrote Crom all summer? Hermione Crom? <laughs> no. Yeah, like where the hell's Hagrid? No one else can see them, huh? Except for her. They're Nargles. I don't know. I'm just got a purse full of meat. Raw meat. <laughs> High Inquisitor, huh? Who's gonna take her out? Can we kill her? Jeez. What, does he not meet the requirements to ride that ride or something? <laughs> you have to be a certain height to yeah. teach music? <laughs> At least that's what she made it seem like. Because you're a cunt. You can't fire Emma Thompson. She's a national treasure. I wonder what the play is there. What is isolating himself away from Harry? It looks like you're on your own. Phrasing, right? Perhaps that's what Dumbledore is doing. He's making it look like Carrie's isolated so that Somebody Voldemort does something. feels more confident Come in his approach. And then Dumbledore can just <laughs> sneak attack. Dumbledore's army. It's a secret club. I mean, show a little loyalty, Filch. Jeez. He found a secret room. Secret room found him. Now they have a place to hang out. Cool. You're just flourishing your wand too much. Try it like this. Expelliarmus! <laughs> Just a little twirl. Not, not a like, not a big. Just a little. You're not trying to flick a booger off of it. Just a, yeah. I think I'd be good at this. Ow. Sorry. <laughs> Expelliarmus. Did you put some like stunt pads behind him? Mattresses? Something? Maybe not the fire directly behind them. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll go easy on you. Yeah, they're a thing. Yeah, yeah, right, honey. You let the girl win. No, I'd kick your butt in fantasy football if you'd let me. The I exit love it. it. I love it. Truth telling tea. Yeah, truth serum tea. <laughs> He's like, are you watching this? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Ginny. Woo. <laughs> She's like, check me out. Mistletoe. Just popping out of the sea. The room is giving you what Ceiling. you need. <laughs> <laughs> She's going through a lot. That's what girls feel all the time. <laughs> We're constantly feeling three or four different emotions all the time. <laughs> a ball? He's lacking balls. Oh no. Oh no. Mr. Weasley. He was the snake. He's becoming him. They're merging. He'll just take you over. Oh shit. This is gonna suck. Private lessons with Snape. 
lessons or sessions. I'd almost call it sessions. It's, how come those faces are blacked out? It's a little bit of childhood trauma then. Is that what we're hearing? Sears probably had to tell himself that for 14 years in Azkaban. Exactly. Back to school. Something Voldemort didn't have last time, though. He's looking for something that he didn't... He's trying to get something he didn't have last time. Is it a person? Is it a thing? That I can't... I can't get over it. When he attacked Mr. Weasley, he was... Look, they said he didn't get what he was looking for. So and he was, be, like, in a room of balls. Yeah, crystal balls. <laughs> he didn't have balls last time. Yeah. He still doesn't have balls. Or a nose. I've been away from me health. Your health? Yeah. Bit of fresh air, you know. Look at his face. This is top secret, right? Dumbledore sent me to parley with the giants. Giants? You found them? Well, they're not that hard to find, to be perfectly honest. They're so big, see? They're, they're pretty big. And they did this to you? Not exactly, no. <laughs> Go on, you have it then. Don't be dog. Who beat up Hagrid? I don't know. Uh-oh. Caban. Yeah. He's breaking everyone out of Azkaban? Oh, he's gonna have an, his own army, isn't he? We have confirmed the ten high security prisoners in the early hours of yesterday. Ten high security. Although the breakout was engineered by a man with personal experience of escaping from Azkaban, notorious Mass murderer, Sirius Black, cousin of escapee Bellatrix Lestrange. Mm, she was on the wall. Mm. Mm -hmm. I wanted to apologize. Now with me mum says the prophet's version of things don't add up. So what I'm really trying to say is that I believe you. He wants in. 14 years ago. A Death Eater named Bellatrix Lestrange used the Cruciatus Curse on my parents. She tortured them. They never gave in. I'm quite proud to be their son. Yeah. We're going to make them proud, Neville. That's a promise. Oh, so Bellatrix took out his parents. <laughs> A full-bodied Patronus is the most difficult to produce, but shield forms can also be equally useful against a variety of opponents. Just remember, your Patronus can only protect you for as long as you stay focused. So focus, Luna! So that's what that elk was, was his Patronus. Yeah. Shit. Are those giants coming to help? Oh no. Oh no. We saw your lies for what they were, a smokescreen for your bid to seize control of the Ministry. Naturally. No, Professor, he had nothing to do with it, it was me. The parchment clearly says Dumbledore's army, not Potter's. I have no intention of going to Azkaban. Enough of this. Take him! Well, 
You may not like him, Minister, but you can't deny Dumbledore's got style. <laughs> <laughs> Did he just use his phoenix as a port key or something? Looks like it. No one can fucking read those, but thanks for hanging on, sir. She's the new headmaster. Boys and girls can't be within eight inches of each other. All the pictures are coming down? Oh, wow. She's fun. He's enjoying himself too much. Crotchety old dude. Did the twins put something in her tea? God, I I wish. I don't think so. Harry. She lost all of her friends because she ratted them out. Yeah. Any idea where he's taking us? Hagrid, why can't you just tell us? The giants. I've never seen a centaur. Oh, centaurs. With Dumbledore gone, I'll likely be getting the sack any day now. I just couldn't leave without telling someone about him. Robby! <laughs> oh, he found a friend. <laughs> he brought a friend back. Oh no, he gives hard hugs. I couldn't just leave him because... Because he's my brother. Blimey. <laughs> he's completely harmless, just like I said. <laughs> Little high-spirited is all. <laughs> Put me down. Now. Yeah. Use your mom voice. That's perfect. You're right. Fine. Just needs a firm hand is all. I think you've got an admirer. You just stay away from her. All right. <laughs> I'm sure he means well. He's just big. He doesn't know how big he is. Ring the bell. <laughs> You're just like your father. Lazy, arrogant. Don't say a word against my father. Weak. I'm not weak. Then prove it. Control your emotions. Discipline your mind. He's really trying to help him. We've been at it for hours. If I could just rest. The Dark Lord. He won't let you rest. Yeah. Your father was a swine. Let Come on, Mooney. Go for Snape! Spilly Armour. Nice one, James. Oh, his dad was a bully. Your lessons are at an end. I did. Get out. Sometimes great men are horrible boys, you know? Yeah. Harry just got a little taste of understanding, though. Yeah. You know, he's like, oh. Well, Sirius said, you know, we all have a dark and a light, and it's what we choose. <laughs> Naughty children deserve to be punished. You know, George, I've always felt our futures lay outside the world of academic achievement. Fred, I've been thinking exactly the same thing. I can't wait to see what they do to her. They're gonna get expelled. God, I hope so.
What's happening? Hope is the Dark Lord here to take her. They've had enough. <laughs> they went big. Go big or go home. Or go big, then go home. <laughs> <laughs> What's the W stand for? Weasley. Oh, that's right. How come some of the kids are not in cloaks? Uh oh. But first you will fetch it for me. Serious. Yes, serious. What if Voldemort meant for you to see this? What if he's only hurting Sirius because he's trying to get to you? I'm supposed to just let him die. Hermione, he's the only family I've got left. Well, they're your family. As much as Sirius is your family at this point, right? Hello, come on. She's now watching her own chimney. What an idiot. Alert the order if you can. Are you mental? We're going with you. It's finally you going to get into your head. We're in this together. That you are. Snape, yes. Have you brought the Veritas serum? I'm afraid you've used up all my stores interrogating students. The last of it on Miss Chen. She didn't rat him out. She couldn't help it. He's got Padfoot at the place where it's hidden. Padfoot? What is Padfoot? Where what is hidden? What is he talking about, Snape? No idea. <laughs> Was what is Harry trying to tell Snape? Starting to say he's got Sirius where where the thing that he has been looking for is oh. hidden, right? So that he can the tell somebody. Sort to loosen your tongue. That's illegal. But Cornelius doesn't know won't hurt him. She's disgusting. Well, if you won't tell her where it is, I will. Just make some shit up. This chick doesn't know anything. This lady, she knows nothing. Dumbledore's secret weapon. <laughs> yeah, it's the big giant in the middle of the forest. What are you doing? Improvising. Yeah, she's being smart. Uh oh, big guy's gone. What are the chances they eat her? In the I will have order. There he is. Eat her, eat her, eat her, eat her. <laughs> He's like, ow. <laughs> I'm sorry, Professor. Eater, eater. Must not tell lies. <laughs> Must tell lies. Yeah, too bad they don't give a shit what you say. So, how are we getting to London? Look, it's not that I don't appreciate everything you've done, all of you. I've got you into enough trouble as it is. They're like, you trained us for this army. This army is supposed to be about doing something real. <laughs> Maybe you don't have to do this all by yourself, mate. No, you trained an army. So how are we going to get to London? We fly, of course. On those dead horses. How far away is London? I just probably over the hills or something. Can the others see? I, what I know if the on? others can't see them, then how are they? 
They're just flying through the air. Yeah. Department of Mysteries. Where's security? Holy balls. It's got your name on it. Oh boy. What are these balls? The one with the power to vanquish the Dark Lord approaches. And the Dark Lord shall mark him as his equal, but he shall have power the Dark Lord. Now hand me the prophecy. You do anything to us, I'll break it. <laughs> he knows how to play. Baby. What? Bellatrix oh, Lestrange. Oh, it'll be sweet redemption when Neville kills her, huh? Everybody just calm down. Jeremy? Why would we do that? What is that prophecy? Why did Voldemort need me to come and get this? You did. Someone's behind you. Prophecies can only be retrieved by those about whom they are made. What are they called? The Death, the Death Eaters? Death Eaters. They're all over. Don't you want to know the secret? And your scar, all the answers are there. Bot in your hand, is give to me. And I can show you everything. Luke, I'm your father sort of situation. Voldemort is dead. Now, they weren't expecting the kids to know anything. They have a lot more practice, though. Harry's taught him well. So tell us. Well done, Neville. Does Neville have a girlfriend? <laughs> Neville and Luna? They're kind of cute together. <laughs> These are prophecy balls? Yeah. Get back to the door. Yeah, Neville and Luna. Little love connection there. Oh shit. Oh boy. Where are they now? The voices. Can you tell what they're saying? There aren't any voices, Harry. Luna can hear them. Let's get out of here. I hear them too. Neville, Neville, can you hear them? Dementors took them all. Were those Dementors? Weren't they? Oh. They were Death Eaters. Fucking Death Eaters. Did you actually believe? Or were you truly naive enough to think that children stood a chance? Can't he just chuck his ball at the ground? Break it? Yeah, I think so. Why wouldn't he? Give me the prophecy now, or watch your friends die. Any chance he sh he pulled the switcheroo on the prophecy? Oh, you think he grabbed a different ball and put his away? Yeah. You know, like Star-Lord and Guardians of the Galaxy did the... Yeah. I think he did. Get away from my godson. Well, they broke anyways. I like the dark versus light mm -hmm. imagery. It's nice. 
Come James. And called him James. Uh oh. She just killed him. Oh no. Oh shit. That's the gateway to the under, like the afterlife. That's why Luna and him can hear it. The voices from beyond. Hmm. She killed him. She deserves it. Ooh, here's the dark coming in. So weak. Foolish of you to come here tonight, Tom. The orders are on their way. I love that he calls him Tom. <laughs> oh, I love that. It's such a. I have no respect for you. You are just a child in my eyes. Move. He's gonna need your help, Harry. Powerful spells. If fucking Dumbledore dies right now, too, I'm gonna be so pissed. I'm gonna lose Sirius and Dumbledore all at the same time. You should run away? Yeah. Maybe. Oh no. He is Harry now. Use your Snape lessons. Use your Snape lessons. Fight back. You have a weak one. And you'll never know love. Or friendship. And I feel sorry for you. Power of love. That's right. Oh, are you gonna fucking believe that he exists now, you jackass? He's back. This fucking dickhead. <laughs> what have you done, you idiot? Finally. Good, she's gone. Suspended? She should be in prison for the shit she was pulling. Who's going to be the new Minister of Magic? That's a good question. Weasley? Father Weasley? <laughs> I, don't know if he's, <laughs> I don't think he's that high on the total. Not goal. cut out? I know how you feel, Harry. Are you dying? Oh, he doesn't seem to have a lot of family either. The prophecy said, neither one can live while the other one survives. It means one of us is going to have to kill the other. Well, I mean, it's a pretty obvious prophecy, too. Like, clearly you both can't live in this world together. He is just going to want to continue to kill you. Man. So it's either kill or be killed, right? Like, it's like the most obvious prophecy ever. Anyway, my mom always said the things we lose have a way of coming back to us in the end. If not always in the way we expect. <laughs> well, she found her shoes. I like Luna. Yeah, she's a weirdo, but I dig it. I dig her. I'm kind of attracted to weirdos, though. What's that supposed to mean? I'm drawn to a weirdo. Oh, okay. It's because you are one. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I've been thinking about something Dumbledore said to me. What's that? We've got one thing that Voldemort doesn't have. Something worth fighting for. Each other.
Or a different station to get on the, the train back home. Or have just never seen him get on the train to no, go back home. There's different. I think there's different train stations for the different years. Mm. Like they get there and they go leave the same way every different every year. Based on their year. That's it? Yep. Well, we didn't see Ron and Hermione make out or anything, so maybe I guess I was wrong, but I thought I felt a little connection there. Yeah. Some side books. Kind of being protective of her. Yeah. Well in the last movie, Hermione was like like Ron, if you want to ask me, just do Exactly, it. yeah. Right? Like I would have said yes to you if you just of asked me. Crumb mm -hmm. asking her. Yeah. But yeah. It's always funny with if the their the trio, right? Harry and Hermione have no issues hugging or, you know, right, being yeah. friends or having that platonic relationship and being close as a good friends are. Right. When it comes to Ron and Hermione, they touch hands and they're like Oh, oh god. Oh, yeah. Oh no. Because there's attraction. Yeah. So that's fun. Yeah, that is fun. Yeah. So Very what, much like high school, I guess. Yeah. So what do you think of uh, The Order of the Phoenix? It was good. It was heavier, yeah. darker, the a little bit more guys. depressing. But it was yeah, good. They were serious black. Yeah. There was some good uh, bonding there with Snape, teaching him to yeah. defend his mind. Yeah. So. I don't... At least with, like, the previous ones, I feel like I'd seen, like, at least a clip here or a clip there. I, none of none of this one seemed like I had seen any sort of, like, reference yeah. to it yeah. or or anything, so. Yeah. I think this has probably been my favorite one. Yeah? On the rewatch, yeah. I love the idea of this light society to combat the, the Death the, Eaters. The Death Eaters, yeah. yeah. I kind of like and the that. The whole imagery of the white. Mm -hmm. Smoke versus the black smoke because they're fighting each other. Yeah. I also think that very interesting to see Harry Potter's dad's background a little bit. Like, he was the bully. Yeah. He was a bully of, of Snape, which sucks, which yeah. explains why Snape is kind of a, a dick now. He doesn't like Harry because he sees his father. And yeah, too that much. and he was picked on and bullied. and It's probably the house rivalries. Because James was a Gryffindor, yeah, Gryffindor and versus Snape was a Slytherin. Yeah, it could be. So, yeah. yeah. I think it's. Um, I don't know if it'll be like. I don't know if it's foreshadowing. Because. No, because Malfoy's dad is a Death Eater, right? Like, cause Malfoy's an ass. Like, bad kids can become good people yeah. right like they can change their so stripes Draco will become a good guy maybe maybe i feel like that imagery showed that that could be a possibility yeah. i don't know if it will be but okay and my you know given his family history probably won't be but bad decisions as a child can lead to good decisions well, speaking of all these criminal activities by fathers like when uh, this is Mal Father Malfoy, I can't remember his name. Yeah, um, Lucius, Lucius Malfoy. If he's doing all this bad stuff, how are they not? Are, is he going to be wanted now? They're not catching him in the act, right? Because they saw Voldemort, and if Harry was saying Voldemort's back this whole time, you would think you would believe everything else he would say. Like that guy's a Death Eater. Right. Oh, apparently it's not like illegal to be a Death Eater. It's just, <laughs> just a be, bad boys club, yeah, right? You gotta be caught in the act of a crime, right? Okay. You get all these Death Eaters kids going to school with. Yeah, it's like it's not illegal to be a blood or a crip, but. <laughs> <laughs> well, we learned a lot of uh, history in this too, right? With the Order of Phoenix, like <sighs> Neville's background mm -hmm. with his parents. Met some new characters. I still think Neville and Luna could be could be cute together. Yeah, you think they'd be a good couple? Yeah. Yeah. They're both weirdos. Yeah. I liked how Harry took started Dumbledore's army and was actually being the defender of the Dark Star teacher for this whole Yeah, I mean clearly a class natural class. born leader there. Yeah. No. And they all learned how to actually defend themselves. I know, I love that. We I love that. Fight off the Death Eaters. I also hate that 
the Ministry of Magic felt that it was appropriate to keep to keep from teaching the kids magic how to protect themselves how yeah, to I'm, defend themselves against the dark arts i'm pretty sure once she took over the whole hogwarts she was just telling them teaching them book stuff like they well, weren't yeah. doing anything practically like they weren't again it was all theory of very stuff. parallel to the, the world we live in now <laughs> <laughs> hmm, let's, let's commentary on the education let's system. teach our kids book stuff and things that nobody needs to know but uh nothing practical yeah. Yeah. Hmm. not that no offense to all the teachers out there yeah i've got lots of family members who are teachers i'm not sure how deep this follows the book but in this film i felt a lot of commentary about media hmm. and the education and education system. yeah yeah oh yeah right? it was very interesting and media saying oh, lies mm -hmm. who is dumbledore's is he daft or Listening to one dangerous? asshole who didn't know anything. Yeah. yeah. Because the minister was like, no. Yeah. This is what's going on. His own narrative, right? One dumb, dumb leader. Yeah. Well, anything else on your mind after this one? Where do we go from here? I thought you mentioned it's kind of like filled with like political commentary in a way, right? Like yeah. its own weird societal yeah. political you know, commentary. Secret societies out yeah. there. And all that. So interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, from here, I don't know. I mean, what's his butt's going to show his face again? Because yeah. he's he's very good at running, which I think is a it's a good survival tactic for him. You would think, with as arrogant as he is, he wouldn't be so good at just running away yeah. when he knows he's being defeated. I think he's trying to get gain allies so he can overpower. Right? They were talking about how he was going to talk to the giants. Yeah. Trying to recruit. He's trying to build his own army. But you could tell, like, he, he was falling behind there, and, he, and instead of just digging in and trying to win the battle and losing, he yeah. was like, oh, shit, I'm out. So I love the I'll message of this, this film is you have Voldemort trying to gain allies through fear mm -hmm. right, and power, and then Harry overcomes it when he realizes that he's got friendship and love. Yeah, love. Mm -hmm. And that in the end, he says, love we, have, we have something all. to fight for each other, right? Yeah. Love conquers all. So... So, Gotta love that message I always. Love the contrast of the, the dark and the light in this one. Mm -hmm. Lots so, of it. Yeah. Thank you all for hanging out. What should people comment? Um, What's your favorite part about this movie, right? And where does it rank in your lineup of of the Harry Potter movies so far? Yeah. Is it up there? Because it's it's darker, it's heavier. Yeah. I it's a lot, like of a lot of internal questioning. What would your Patronus be? Oh, that's a good question. What would your Patronus be? Let us know in the comments. What do you think mine would be? Animal? What kind of animal? Oh, nailed it. Oh, an animal probably. Well, yeah, all of them were animals, weren't they? I'm, just, I'm trying. I'm trying to think of the animal that. You what animal with the resonates most. with me? I don't know. I don't either. I don't really feel like connected to any sort of animal. Probably some sort of bird. Yeah. Yeah. Like a swallow or something. Yeah. Probably like a magpie or a some, magpie. something really obnoxious. <laughs> That's probably more like you. Goddamn magpie. magpies. Yeah. <laughs> Although we do have that bird that keeps getting stuck in the garage. He got stuck again? I, he's been stuck four times for me. Really? I I've had to the other day. let him out four different times. I don't ever see him come in, but I'll go back out into the garage. He doesn't squ squawk or anything. No, he's just like flying around like, I gotta get out of here. Yeah, I'll go back out and then he'll just be flying around I'm like, well, how did you get in here? Like, where did you come from? Is he coming in the dog door? I don't, I don't know. That's I don't know. Interesting. Hmm. Doesn't make any noise. Maybe that's your Patronus, is that bird. I don't know what it is. Yeah. Do you know what it is? No. It's just a little tiny It's bird. like a finch. I think it's a little yeah, finch or something. A little finch. Yeah. What, what's my Patronus? What do you think? What, what are you... What am I? <laughs> what are you? I don't know. I want to say a stallion. Oh, wow. I'm a stallion. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why a horse... <laughs> a horse is coming to mind, but I don't know why. Okay. You're not like a horse guy, really. No. You come from a long line of horse guys. I do. Yeah. I mean, my grandpa was a horse whisperer, so... Yeah. All right. Well, horse guy for you. Okay. I guess my Patronus is a horse. Mine's a fucking finch, I guess. Yeah, there you go. We just settled it. <laughs> There's probably like a whole hog, uh, you know, Hogwarts, you know, test. That you could oh, take yeah. Yeah. Let us know if there's a, a test for Patronus. We'll, we'll check it out next time. 
Yeah. Patronus Pathfinder or something. Yeah, it's your Patronus quiz. <laughs> well, anything else? Thanks for hanging out. Come back next week for the next movie. Another Harry Potter. Yeah. Check out our Patreon link down below for more early access to our videos, full and commentary, access to polls, up to Spigwash next. Thanks down there. Check it out. Till next time, have a good one.